This lead headlamp puts out a bright 100 lumens for camping, running, hiking, outdoors. Excellent running headlamp, bright enough for camping accessories, hurricane supplies, and survival kits. What makes this product a smarter choice? Number 1. Powerful beam reach. Powerful light beam reaches up to 35 meters and toggles between high or low light modes and run time with a switch. Note, headlamp does not pivot. Number 2. Washable band. Comfortable. Washable band that is easily adjustable. Great headlamp for kids, easy to wash and durable. Number 3. Virtually indestructible. This durable headlamp resists damage from drops up to 1 meter high, for worry-free use. Whether you're hiking, biking, or climbing, perfect gift for adults and kids alike. Number 4. Lightweight and comfortable. The lightweight and comfortable BA is adjustable and fits any size, so you can share it with your kids and comfortably use it on a hike or run. Number 5. Energizer Power. Buy with confidence. This headlamp comes with Energizer Max batteries included. So you have reliable, long-lasting power right out of the box. Perfect for use as an emergency light. This is the perfect all-around headlamp for day-to-day -day use. Simple, easy to use, durable, and portable, and so much more. Thanks for watching. I wanted to do a quick review of the Foxelli headlamp flashlight. This is a real high-tech gadget, and what's awesome about this flashlight is that it actually comes 90% charged and, you know, pretty much good to go. It's certified waterproof with an IPX7 rating. It was designed with a new 280LM Pre XP G2 Superbright technology, which is, you know, honestly a mouthful to say, but basically what this tells you is this thing can go really, really bright. Now, speaking of bright, it's actually got five different light modes. One is average, and for the geeks out there, average mode projects at 95 lumens, bright mode projects at 200 lumens, minimum projects at 12 lumens, and that's actually perfect for stuff like reading, and ultra bright, which projects at 280 lumens. You can press and hold on the button for one and a half seconds, and it's gonna go enter the SOS mode, which is an absolute must-have feature for all flashlights if you ask me. Now, besides these awesome features, I really like the fact that this thing is actually rechargeable. Now, if you're wondering, charging the device is pretty straightforward. Just plug in the included USB adapter on the battery pack as shown, plug the other end on the USB outlet, it's gonna flash red when charging and green when full, and that's pretty much it. It only takes about 2 hours to fully charge the battery and a full charge is good for up to 100 hours on low and 8 hours on maximum brightness which is pretty impressive. Today I'm here to talk to you about the MH6 headlamp from LED Lenser. In the MH series, the MH6 sits just above the MH2 but is yet still lightweight, efficient and affordable. So when you purchase the MH6 headlamp, you'll receive the headlamp itself, the lithium ion rechargeable battery, the USB recharging cord and the instruction manual. The MH6 headlamp weighs 93 grams with the lithium ion rechargeable battery and can also be used with standard alkaline batteries. The MH6 headlamp is seven centimeters wide, six centimeters deep, and four and a half centimeters high. So similarly to the LED Lenser MH2, the MH6 is made out of plastic and also has a water resistance rating of IPX6, meaning it's resistant to light rain and light dust particles. Today I am reviewing the Nightcore NU32 headlamp, which I've been testing out for the last couple of months. This is a workhorse. This is a fantastic headlamp. It has five LEDs, you have white light, and you also have a red light. With the multiple modes, you have a flood, and you also have a throw, in addition to a red light. Everybody get comfortable. Let's start the review now. When it comes to the NU32 headlamp, this runs $40 at the time of filming. You can add a little bit to that price if you would like to add a USB, AC, or car power adapter. The weight of the headlamp, including the band, is 3.6 ounces. And this is a rechargeable headlamp. It has five LEDs, as mentioned before. This features a max output of 550 lumens. And it can throw that beam a maximum of 136 yards. It essentially has three modes. The white LED, it has red auxiliary LEDs, and it has an auxiliary mode for flood. So now it's time for the unboxing. Super, super quick, you get the headlamp. 
you get the head strap. Here's the box that it comes in. You get the instructions, the warranty card. You also get a charging cable, which I do not have with me at the time. I'll post a picture of that on the screen for you now. And that is pretty much it. How about that? That was a quick unboxing, wasn't it? Now, when it comes to the headlamp, you have two switches at the top, which are glove friendly. Fully adjustable, up to 60 degrees. Very, very simple when it comes to using it. One button controls the white light, the other button controls the red light. You can see the red auxiliary LEDs there. If you turn it on and you wait a few seconds and then hit the button again, it will turn off instead of going into the flashing mode. But if you turn it on, then hit it again, it goes into flashing. When it comes to the white light, that's your throw right there. If you want to access the auxiliary mode for flood, hold down that button and there you go. Without a doubt, everybody, this headlamp is way more comfortable than the through night headlamp, which I recently tested out. That's very uncomfortable. They did not like my review and basically told me that I cannot review any more through night products unless I purchase them myself because they are not going to send out review samples to somebody who would give their products a negative review. So remember that. Let's get back on track here. Let's talk about the performance of this headlamp. On turbo, you are looking at 550 lumens. On high, 190 lumens. On medium, you're looking at 33 lumens. Ultra low, one lumen. When it comes to the auxiliary flood mode, you're looking at 19 lumens. When it comes to the red LEDs, those are nine lumens. This does feature an SOS and beacon modes. When the battery is fully charged, this will run on turbo mode for one hour. On high, 17 hours. Medium, 50 hours. Ultra low, which is one lumen, 330 hours. With the flood mode, you're looking at 25 hours. With the red LEDs, you're looking at 38 hours. When it comes to charging the NU32, right here on the side, you have a charging port. That's a micro USB plug right there. It's very simple, goes back in fairly well. You can even do it with your gloves on and it does stay secure. Now, one additional feature which I really like about this headlamp is that there's a power indicator right here with the switch. When the headlamp is off, you can push the power button once and this lights up. Now you can't really see it because it's during the day, but there is different indicators to let you know the battery level. If it blinks three times, that means the battery is greater than 50% charged. If it blinks twice, it's below 50. If it blinks once, it's less than 10%. And today's review is on Everbright's new 350 lumens headlight with red green light as well as tail light offering seven lighting modes with memory function which is actually new and it is water resistant for IPX4 rating which simply means that it's not submersible but you know it is not going to get ruined if you're just running in the rain for example now this is the second version that I actually purchased a year ago. I took this photo at Millinocket, Maine. Long story short, um, I love this brand. It's been working really well. So when the new one came out, I wanted to see uh, how much of a difference it made because what's different is the actual integrated battery uh, you'll get with the micro USB cable as shown and the four blue light indicators. So this one is charged already, but you simply plug it into any USB outlet and then it takes a few hours to charge fully. I haven't measured it exactly, but it doesn't take very long. So it is a nice option to have if you don't want to carry, you know, extra double or triple A batteries, I'm sorry. Now the memory function works this way. Once you turn it on and you leave it on for a few seconds, and if you turn it off, it basically goes back to that same brightness or the light that you had, whether it's, you know, it's red or green or say it's the medium brightness. You can turn it off by holding it down for a few seconds, turn it off and turn it back on and it will go back to the same light intensity or the color you just had with an aperture of uh, f2.0. Now, the red and green is considered the light that is great for saving your night vision. Gearbest sent me a Nightcore HC60 LED headlamp to review. Inside the box is a HC60 headlamp, a micro USB cable, a headband, spare O-ring, button cover and gasket, warranty card and instruction manual, and a rechargeable battery, which was already inside the headlamp. 
The Nikart headlamp features a Cree XML L2 U2 LED with up to 1000 lumens of output. It has five brightness modes and three specialty modes. It is USB rechargeable by removing the O-ring sealed end cap and has a runtime of up to 680 hours in the ultra low mode. It can accept 18650 or two CR123s or two RCR123 batteries, but it can only charge 18650 batteries through the micro USB port. Also, the battery needs to be a button top style as the flat top style will not make contact. The HD60 also has a neat feature where the power button LED acts as a voltmeter after installing a battery. The HD60 has IP65 rating, which means it can handle heavy rain or splashes of water with ease. The headband is well made and can be used with or without the top strap. The headlight holder is made up of two types of plastic, a stiffer type plastic base curved to the shape of the forehead and a softer plastic securing the headlamp, allowing for adjustment without being too loose. Turning on the headlamp with a quick press will always start you off in ultra low mode. Every quick press after that will cycle you through the five brightness levels. Press and hold the button to turn off the light. Press and hold the button while off will turn the light on at the brightness level it was shut off at. With the headlamp off, double tap the power button to enter the specialty modes. Next, I'm going to show you the beam shot standing 10 feet from a wall. And now here it is compared to my only other headlamp, the Barut D25. Here's a comparison looking down a trail. And finally, some photos of all the brightness modes and compared to the Barut D25. Here's a temperature test after leaving the lights on the highest setting for 10 minutes.